What's up, guys? It's your good friend Corey Elijah. I'm here for PlayLegit.net's Injustice 2 review. Injustice 2 is the sequel to DC Comics and Netherrealm's 2013 acclaimed fighter Injustice Gods Among Us. The story of Injustice 2 follows Batman and his insurgency as they try to piece together the world after all of the events of Injustice 1. So many different crazy things happen, you get to play as so many different characters, it's really cool as you follow the storyline as Batman and his team trying to get, keep things together while Brainiac shows up and you still deal with remnants of the regime. You have some characters that betray Batman, you have some characters that decide to work with Batman. The array of characters is fantastic. Overall, the story is great. It continues on from the last story. Each chapter of the story takes place at one of the 12 stages of the game. Either you play as the designated character for that storyline, or you even get the option sometimes to select between two of the characters that are on the scene and decide which one is going to handle the business. Now there's two separate storylines. There's one with the Batman ending, and there's also another one with Superman's ending. They both are alternate. They kind of lead you into two different directions. Of course, you can probably imagine what Batman's ending's like, and you could probably understand what fascist Superman's ending might be like, too. I don't want to spoil any of that for you. You definitely want to check it out. Make sure you play as each character and get both of those endings. The character roster in Injustice 2 is not half bad. Now you get some old characters from the original Injustice, you get some new characters. If you pre-ordered it at Jump, you would get Darkseid, otherwise he's $4.99 to purchase right now. You get about 28, 29 characters, which is not bad for the standard game. If you pre-ordered it, like I said, you get Darkseid. If you have the Ultimate Edition, you'll be expecting up to 9 more characters. The first DLC pack is going to include Starfire, Red Hood, and Sub-Zero. I don't know why they continue to put Mortal Kombat characters in these games. I know, you know, Injustice is made by the people that develop Mortal Kombat, but still, I like the game without without Mortal Kombat characters, especially for DLC, it almost feels like a waste, I would rather have someone else, especially since we already have a Captain Cold, and then you can reskin him as Mr. Freeze. I'd like to see, if you're going to have Sub-Zero, you might as well turn Sub-Zero into Mr. Freeze and make Captain Cold and Mr. Freeze two separate characters and not just different skins. Also, where the heck is Nightwing? You can get a Nightwing, sk Nightwing skin there's things that you can do so you even get like where you can get the staff of Robin or the, the staff of Grayson so you can use the staff but there's no Nightwing character and it's not looking like there's going to be one I don't want to get custom clothes and look like him I want to play as Nightwing switch between the staff and the two nightsticks like what are you doing that was a big 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 disappointment in my eyes other than that, like I said, there are different skins that you can unlock. Tons of different gear, weapons, uh, different colorways, looks that you can get. So literally, your universe is your game. We're living in the multiverse. Not one, not two characters are going to look the same. They may look similar, but there's so many different variations, so many different attribute changes, so much you can do when it comes to customizing your characters, which makes this very, very, very different from the original Injustice, and I think a very, very good improvement. Now, all of that extra equipment you get from unlocking mother boxes by playing the game, uh, if you want to spend some money and download it, you can do that as well. Each character levels up to level 20 and the gear will level up with him. Uh, not the specific gear, but the gear you unlock will level up as you level up each character as well. So say you have Superman, he's only at level 2. More than likely you're only going to get gear around that range of level 2, maybe up to level 5. The higher your level goes, the better equipment you get, the more damage it'll start dealing, the more special attribute boost it'll give you, all that good stuff. Now, other than the story mode, there are other game modes for this as well. I'm going to let you know what all of those are. So, of course, you have 
for single player, you have single fight, that's where you're gonna just do single matches one on one. We have the 1v1 matches versus AI as well. So you can do one on one, select who you want to be fighting and then just watch these matches. Uh, also in single player you have the multiverse. The multiverse is super cool. Uh, you use Brother Eye to observe and prevent potential threats to the multiverse. You, there's random stages, random amounts of fights, and you get mother boxes and other loots by completing these different missions. It's so awesome. It changes periodically over time. Some of the missions last for a few hours, some of them last for a few days, some of them last for weeks, but they're always changing. It's super cool. I really like the addition of the multiverse mode. For multiplayer modes, of course there's a versus uh, to battle locally. We have an AI battle simulator to create an AI controlled team and challenge players for more loot. Uh, there's also a tournament mode which is really cool so if you want to get some friends together, set up a little Injustice 2 tournament, you can definitely do that as well. You're going to be owning in your skills. That's all that you'll be relying on. You're not going to be earning any loot or any progression from setting up tournaments. That's solely just for having fun. The good thing is, though, that's the only mode where you don't earn other, other gear or more loot, things to level up your characters. Of course, there's an online mode. Uh, there, you just battle fighters online. You can do King of the Hill one-on-one -on -one matches, continuous matches. It's super fun, especially if you get a party together. I played with a few friends online. We got some epic matches in. Uh, I mean, in time flies when you're playing these matches. And the game is so seamless. It just flows so perfect. Not many frame rate drops, anything, any glitches, anything like that while you're playing online. I was very pleased with that. There's also the guild mode where you can join or create a guild and then you put complete daily and weekly challenges for loot and you can participate in guild multiverse missions as well where the more people that are actually doing a mission it will make it easier uh, for you and you'll get more loot, more rewards, more trophies, all that good stuff. The guild is very nice. I'm a member of the League of Assassins. I thought it was only right and it's super fun. You can meet some cool people in the, on the homepage there as well where you can chat and talk to everybody within your guild. As for gameplay, the voice acting in Injustice 2 is amazing. With a star-studded cast with some of my favorites, we have Phil Lamar, Tara Strong, Kari Payton, Kevin Conroy, the voice of freaking Batman. It's unbelievable, and that's just naming a few. The dubbing is super fluid. Everything looks like it's syncing up. It looks like the characters in the game are actually the people that are speaking. It's it's super fluid. The cutscenes, the cutscenes just transition perfectly into gameplay. The gameplay is seamless. Frame rates are not dropping. Now, if you have a PS4 Pro or if you're, you're playing as, you know, on an Xbox, wait for the Scorpio to come out because it looks fantastic. Or you know, use your Xbox S for that HDR. It looks amazing. It looks great. This game looks fantastic. Even when you change the equipment on your characters, it just looks bananas. It is great. Uh, I definitely suggest trying it on the Pro model console. I've played it on both. The, the standard console, it, it works fine, it's great, but it does not do it the proper justice or injustice. The battle mechanics of the game are so simple, they're easy, it's easy for anyone to pick up heavy attacks, strong attack, weak attacks, and then using your special, it's just, it's, it's simple, it's easy, anybody can really pick this up, learn the game, and it would not be hard for them to start whooping butt in the matter of a few matches. Now you do have to learn each character because they spent a lot of time, each character has its own specific style, you have to learn your characters, which makes it even more fun because you go down, the, you go through the road, leveling up each character, perfecting each character, adding the equipment to your character, so you play each character can be played different ways while they all have a similar but unique fighting style stance all that good stuff special abilities it's amazing the game mechanics of it i mean at times it can be kind of unfair 
but after playing the game and after learning the characters, you kind of find the weaknesses and the strengths of all of the characters, and you can kind of maneuver around, select your characters uh, accordingly to combat who you're having to face against. So I think it's great. There are a few qualms about some of the gameplay. With my experience, I didn't have too much trouble with it. There were times where I was like, man, how is Grod just whooping me like this? Why is Swamp Thing doing me like that? But other than that, gameplay is solid. Overall, I gotta give Injustice 2 a 4 MFs. Yes, 4 MFs. Solid gameplay, solid story, solid soundtrack, solid everything. Now, a few things could have been tweaked. Uh, it could have felt it could feel less like a mobile game at times, I would hope, but it is what it is. That's where we're kind of going in this whole world of gaming. I wish there was more characters. I wish Nightwing was there. I know we're expecting nine more, but the DC universe is so huge, you almost feel like they could have put far over 50 characters in this ad jump, but 28's not bad. That's my review for Injustice 2 for PlayLegit.net. What do you guys think? Do you enjoy it? There's so many fighters out this year. Uh, besides this, Tekken 7, we have Capcom vs. Marvel coming out. It's going to be great. It's going to be insane, but Injustice 2, I think it'll make it through.